have to break his desires in Shabbos. So, but it seems like all the things you do on Shabbat, sleeping, you try to sleep a little extra, you try to eat a little extra, they seem like you're doing it through your own body. Oh, through right. your oh, right. Hashem, you've written now also, you never slept in Shabbat. And someone told him that it's written, that that to sleep in Shabbos, it's a pleasure. So he said, in every, I've gone with Vilna. He said, in every mitzvah that it's written, that it's a pleasure, I'm running from that mitzvah. I'm not making those kind of mitzvahs. And there was another tzaddik that he would never sleep in Shabbos. He was awake, always. And one time he went to a Bet Midrash and he saw someone sleeping. So we woke him up and he told him, what, what happened? So he told him, how are you sleeping in Shabbos? So he told him, it's okay, what's, what's wrong with it? So he told him, it's written, v'shamartem et Shabbat. you have to keep Shabbat. And the guard, when he's keeping, if he's asleep, so he's breaking his shift, he's not guarding anymore. So you have to be awake. And he said it with all of his heart. The person that was sleeping, after he heard that thing, he couldn't sleep anymore in Shabbos. You understand? It's an inner point of truth that you have. All right, so you're going to sleep all of the Shabbat. You're going to sleep hours in Shabbat morning, hours in Shabbat afternoon. In the end, you won't be happy because of Shabbat. Shabbat won't give you nothing if you were eating and sleeping, eating and sleeping. So what? Like a behemoth in Shabbos? Yeah, in the days of the week, you're trying to be a human being, and in Shabbos you become to be a behemoth, you're sleeping and eating, it's not it. You have to serve Hashem in Shabbat. You have to serve Hashem. We don't understand how to serve Hashem, but we need to look for it. All right, you're, while you're eating, so try to serve Hashem. You're allowed to forget Hashem while you're eating. It's something belongs to you. Rabbi is saying a person should be embarrassed, to be ashamed, to put his hand, to, to push his hand, to take his hand, to send his hand to, to grab a, a bite of something, to put his, in his mouth, mouth to it. A person should be ashamed. Because why? Because before you're eating it, it's not yours. Before you, you, you made the bracha, before you're eating something, it's not yours. It's at the tables, it's someone else, it's Hashem's. Before you're saying the bracha, and when you're pulling your hand to that thing, you're pulling your hand to something that is not yours. It's not your food. After you're going to make the bracha, it's going to be yours. You're right. After you're going to eat it, it's going to be yours. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all His, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.